Everyone knows that the key to winning the Indy 500 is a lot of heart, endurance, and yeah, a little thing called speed. In 2013, the Indy 500 was won in 2 hours, 40 minutes, and 3 seconds, with the winner's average speed clocked at 187 miles per hour. But how would some of the world's fastest and slowest animals rank if they were to compete? Let's take a look. Around the world, the cheetah is revered as the king of speed, reaching top speeds of more than 60 miles per hour. Cheetahs are known as the fastest mammal on Earth. In fact, the cheetah moves so quickly that its feet spend more time in the air than they do on the ground. But it's their acceleration that's truly impressive. Cheetahs can go from 0 to 60 in just 3 seconds, or roughly 3 strides. It's that kind of acceleration that puts cheetahs on par with most Indy cars. But acceleration alone doesn't win Indy 500 races. And at 60 miles per hour for 500 miles, a cheetah would complete the Indy 500 in 8 hours and 20 minutes. The Greyhound is a breed that was definitely built for speed. These quick canines have been clocked at speeds around 40 miles per hour, but they don't always live their life in the fast lane. Greyhounds love to relax, and when they're not hanging around the track, they can usually be found lounging on a couch or comfy dog bed. It's this speed duality that earned them the nickname, the 40 miles per hour couch potato. But perhaps greyhounds should stick to smaller tracks, because at 40 miles per hour for 500 miles, a greyhound will complete the Indy 500 in 12 hours and 30 minutes. When it comes to feathered fasties, the North African ostrich ranks as the fastest running bird. This long-legged bird can reach speeds of up to 43 miles per hour. Even the ostrich chicks are fast. At just a month old, ostrich chicks can run at speeds close to 35 miles per hour. But when it comes to mama, running at 43 miles per hour for 500 miles, she would finish the Indy 500 in 11 hours and 37 minutes. Wondering where humans rank on the speed scale? The world's fastest man has clocked a max speed of 27 miles per hour, which gives him just a slight edge over the African bush elephant. But the average human typically runs at about 5 to 8 miles per hour. So at 8 miles per hour for 500 miles, a human would complete the Indy 500 in 2 days, 14 hours, and 30 minutes. When Turbo hit speeds of 226 miles per hour during his qualifying lap, he proved he had the skills to pay the bills. But most snails move at, well, a snail's pace, around 0.3 miles per hour. So if Chet were to race at 0.03 miles per hour for 500 miles, he would finish the Indy 500 in about 694 days. On second thought, maybe Chet should leave the racing to his brother.